This video is sponsored by Siemens. Hi, I'm Miles Budimir with Design World Magazine, and I'm here with another in our ongoing installment of Motion Control Basics videos. Uh, this one is on motor drives. Now, uh, right off the bat, uh, defining a drive can be a bit tricky. Some drives are wholly incorporated into the controller so that the profile generation takes place in the controller, as well as the torque command for the motor. Uh, however, on the other hand, uh, a drive can also refer to the specific power electronic circuitry needed to drive the motor. Uh, motors that drive industrial machines need some way to control motor speed, and at its most basic level, uh, a motor drive controls the speed of the motor. Now, uh, some manufacturers refer to a controller and motor together as a drive system. Uh, however, from the electrical side of things, the drive is often specifically the electrical components that make up the variable frequency inverter itself. So drives are the interface between the control signals and the motor uh, and include power electronic devices such as SCRs, or silicon controlled rectifiers, transistors, and thyristors. Matching the correct drive to the type of motor in an application is critical for getting the best fit for torque, speed, and uh, efficiency. There are a wide range of drives uh, that are available depending on the needs of the specific application and motor type. Uh, in general though, drive types typically, typically fall into two categories, DC and AC drives. DC drives control DC motors. Uh, a basic DC drive is similar in operation to an AC drive in that the drive controls the speed of the motor. For DC motor control, a common method is a thyristor-based control circuit. These circuits consist of a thyristor bridge circuit that rectifies AC into DC for the motor armature. And varying the voltage to the armature controls the motor speed. 